This is Ian Pretty from the Retro Computer Shack. In this video I'll show you how to connect a Spectrum Plus 2 grey model or a Spectrum Plus 128K or Toastrack model as it's often referred to to a TV via the SCART input. To do that you'll need my RGB SCART lead. Okay let's uh, connect everything up. Make sure the computer and the uh, TV are switched off. Connect the DIN plug end of the SCART lead into the IGB input on the TV, on the computer rather. Connect the short sound lead to the sound output on the computer. I'm also going to connect this Enjoy Pro 1 interface just so I can load games more quickly. Then connect the power. And then hopefully we'll get a picture. Next, switch the TV on. Now just knock that light out. Select the SCART input on the TV. On my TV it's labelled as EXT. Then switch the spectrum on. Oh, and we get a picture straight away. I'll just load a game up with that interface that I plugged in. And hopefully we should get sound as well. Yes, we have. I'll just knock that light out so you can get a better quality of the picture. You should get a nice, clear, steady colour picture with vivid colours. The colours in this video look a little bit paler than they are on the TV. That's just the way the video camera interprets the colour. So, for most people, it should be as simple as that. But not for all. Uh, the Spectrum does have some issues connecting via SCART leads, which I'll uh, just run through now. I'll switch that sound off. We don't want that on. These are the common issues that you may come across on some TVs and not all. Um, you may get a problem with interference on the screen uh, or a snowy picture. Um, this is most, most noticeable if you've got a white background. The other problems are flickering picture or picture sync issues. Um, the TV picture may just flicker on and off or it may stay on for a a minute, few seconds, and then lose sync and start flickering again. Very dark picture, and also could be black and white. Uh, and you may just get a black and white picture altogether. Another problem is ghosting, uh, shadows around the characters. This is quite common, and it's not that noticeable because you get a clearer picture, more or less normal, but looks a bit blurred because you've got these shadows around the characters. Those are all symptoms of the TV not switching to RGB mode. A few solutions. Try a different SCART socket. If your TV has more than one, uh, try them all. Usually only one is RGB compatible, which is often the first one. Try a different TV. That night might not be practical because you may want to use a specific TV. But the reason some TVs will work and some are and won't is that they all conform to SCART standards, but the individual tolerances of signals vary from TV to TV. So some will work and some won't. Check the SCART socket is set for RGB in the TV menu settings if you've got that. Um, if you have, go to the AV inputs, check that the SCART socket is set for RGB and not composite video or S video. And if none of those work, basically then the only thing that we can do is a modification to the spectrum. Um, there's different mods for the different spectrums. This one's just for the plus two grey model. If you click the links below the uh, video in my YouTube channel, you'll see those on my website. That all the all the different mods for the different spectrums are on there. I'm not going to go into this document in full. You can download it and read it at your leisure. But basically, you need to change a few links, replace a resistor, change a couple more links here, 
and then that's about it. So only do that if you've got the relevant knowledge and electronics and soldering experience to do that. If you want uh, more information on troubleshooting and information on the video leads, uh, you'll be able to download this troubleshooting guide in one of the links below the video as well. Just one other thing that I forgot to mention, the, the leads are all compatible with the OSSC SCART to HDMI converter and also the RetroTINK 5x SCART and 2x SCART video converters. I've designed, tested them and they all work perfectly well with those. Well that's about it from me. Thanks for watching this video, I hope you find it useful.